What's up everyone, it's Matt Morozik aka MVM397 with uh, a video, haven't done one in a while. But uh, this just came in today and this is a commission. This is uh, for the same gentleman that bought my uh, Sazabi, uh, Master Grace Sazabi that I just painted, the purple and grayish one. And uh, he seemed happy with uh, what he purchased so he sent me this to build for him and I just came in today. So I'm going to try this one handed and we'll see how it goes. I know what's in here, but you guys don't. I normally don't do unboxings because, eh, I don't know, I think they're kind of boring sometimes, but, you know, if there's something interesting, why not? So, since I don't have enough to do and enough of my workbench, why not take on another commission? And what we got is we have a Master Grade Goof Custom, as you can see there, and we also have with it a Super G goof custom conversion so um, this is just the first intro video I also opened up the resin kit because uh, everyone's seen mastery kits and they're all the same just different colored plastic all right let's do this one hand come on get out of there this is originally cut, uh, designed by neograde I personally own the SMS version which is decent um, SMS did something a little different and they made like half the resin and clear and quite frankly I'm not a too much of a fan of that but anyway this is from Super G um, I have a few Super G recast kits and they're all um, the ones I have are very good uh, decals so they're hard to see here because the, the camera's not doing a very good job a couple photos standard stuff instructions are actually in color which is kind of nice and um, so kind of excited about this. It's a fairly simple kit. Um, of course it all depends on how the uh, conversion is going to attach to the master grade kit. That's uh, the trick with um, conversion kits is how well is the cast and how well do all the parts fit. But uh, here you can kind of get a sense of what's replaced um, on the Goof Custom. So the, the, the shoulder armors get replaced, the more panel lines, the spikes are more defined. Uh, a lot of armor on the arms get gets replaced, and pretty much every single piece of leg armor and foot armor is replaced with the conversion kit, as you can see here. Again, typical resin instructions, just arrows pointing to where things go. No uh, numbered steps or anything, but uh, this is fairly easy. The big difference is the shield and the gun. Um, Really cool, nice Gatling gun. Let's see how that all goes together. And you get that that hand gets replaced, that uh just like missile launching hand. You get a nice big sword and uh, a whip. And let's see what else we got in here. The head the head all gets replaced. The only thing that, that remains is a uh, little piece inside. All the chest armor gets replaced. Um, the only part of the armor on the torso that stays is the waist. Everything else gets replaced. Here is uh, most of the parts. I'll do a parts check tonight. Make sure everything is here. Uh, what's kind of nice is you get um, some uh, metal boosters. You get a metal spring, metal tube, and the the chain for the Gatling um, gun as too. Resin pieces. Um, again, first time I'm looking at it, and um, looks good. Looks nice and clean. Looks pretty sharp. Then the test will come uh, when I actually start assembling. But um, yeah, pretty good. There's that nice big sword. You get an, ooh, a nice clear sword too. That's cool. And there's another clear part in there. Not sure exactly. Oh, it's the blade. Okay, cool. And uh, the metal pieces. There's one like a little metal piece of brass in here. Oh, never mind. That's not brass. It's packing material. Um, there's the chain for the Gatling gun. There's something interesting. They they uh, casted the internal parts of the boosters in yellow, in orangish yellow resin, which is kind of interesting. I don't know why they just didn't give us metal parts. Anyway, uh, those will get painted over anyway. Metal spring. And some wire for the whip and the master grade. 
So that's just an intro to this build. Um, so for as far as commit, I'm what's on my bench right now. I have this that I'm going to start right away. Um, try to get this one finished up relatively quickly, a few months. I have the 148 Hyper Z that I have not forgotten about <laughs> uh, that I need to get cracking on. I need to pull that back out. It's kind of in storage. Uh, it got it got put on hold when I got obsessed with my 160 Sazabi. So I need to pull that out and get cracking on that because that's been... Let's see, I think I picked that commission up almost a year ago and I have to get moving on it. Um, so that's it. Nothing too exciting. Just a little intro video for my client and to show you guys what's going on with me. And uh, peace out. Check you guys later. Bye.